ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ನೌ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯಾ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹೆಸಿಟೇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ನೋ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದೆನ್ ಐಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಹೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ವೇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಲೋ ಲುಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದ್ವಾಮ ಪುರುಷೌ ಲೋಕೆ ಕ್ಷರ ಸಾಕ್ಷರ ಕ್ಷರ ಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಕೂಟಸ್ಥೋಕ್ಷರ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಲೋಕೆ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಲೋಕ ಜನರಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೋಕ್ಯತೆ ಅನುಭೂಯತೆ ಇತಿ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಲೋಕ now you know why we don't put atma as experience <laughs> yeah <laughs> many non traditional teachers do that but a traditional teacher will never do that because loka means experience experience is loka yeah okay so okay so he says in in the loka there are only two purushas the whole universe is divided into two purushas okay what is that kshara akshara mevacha it's called kshara and akshara okay fine kshara that which declines akshara that which doesn't decline okay fine then what is kshara what is kshara kshara sarvani bhutani kshara is all the things that you see nam roopani anything that you see anything that you experience is called kshara because nothing is permanent that's one of the definitions of mithya <coughs> that which is not permanent is called mithya kshara another word that which keep declining keep changing in fact the world jagat itself is like that jayati gachati iti jagat it is born and it goes <laughs> because it keeps changing it keeps changing okay yeah all right then what is akshara ಕೂಟಸ್ಥ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ಷರ ನಾವು ಜನರಲಿ ಕೂಟಸ್ಥ ಎಕ್ಷ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಾಯಾ maya shakti that makes the consciousness appear as the nama roopa this is being called as kutastha akshara so cause and effect there is a cause effect relationship the cause of the world maya maya shakti but not maya independent of brahman remember one thing maya is always dependent on brahman then what will you call brahman here what will you call pure consciousness look at it here next verse okay uttama purushastvanya paramatme iti udahrutah yo lokatrayam avishya vibharti avyaya ishwarah ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷಸ್ತ್ವನ್ಯ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ 
ಅಕ್ಷರಪುರುಷ ಅಕ್ಷರಪುರುಷ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇತಿ ಉದಾಹೃತ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಸೆ ಏನ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಸೆ ಮುಜೆ ಏ ಬುಲಾತ ಐಸ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ ಸೆ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಅನಂತಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಸೇ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಯೋ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯ ಆವಿಷ್ಯ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಭರ್ತಿ ಅವ್ಯಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ವಿಭರ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ಟೇನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅವ್ಯಯ ಅಂಟಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಶಬಲಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮಾಯಾ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಂತಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಸೀಸ್ ಯಕ್ಷ ಯಸ್ಮತ್ ಶರತ್ ಅತೀತೋಹಂ ಅಕ್ಷರಾದ ಬಿಚೋತ್ತಮ ಅಥೋಸ್ಮಿ ಲೋಕೆ ವೇದೆ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿತ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪಾರ್ ಅಬೌ ದಕ್ಷರ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಷರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಆರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಷರ ಅತೀತೋಹ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಕಾನ್ ಸೇ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟಿಂಬಕ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಅತೀತ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಸಮೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯಂ ಆವಿಷ್ಯ ಪರ್ವೇಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ so you can't really use the word atitah as beyond you have to look at it as atitah as independent of exactly like the cloth pervades the kurta the cloth is beyond the kurta beyond in what sense independent of the kurta the kurta is dependent on the cloth cloth is independent of the kurta so beyond is used in this sense not in any other sense it is a transcendental reality what do you mean transcendental see there are lot of nuances in this which people don't think even vedanta teachers who are asampradaya we don't think think about these things okay what is that look at it the influence of the occidental religions on our psyche occidental religion this judaism christianity islam all of them has almost the same source okay okay christianity which came after judaism accepts all the prophets etc that has gone beho- before from adam and eve to abraham to moses etc is accepted in christianity similarly christian uh, islam also accepts all the prophets that is there in the bible but each considers i am later therefore i am better and mohammed was smart he said i am not only the latest i am the last latest that means whatever i say is better than whoever has said before last means nobody else can say better than what i have said smart guy you <laughs> know very smart guy <coughs> anyway in all these three religions god is beyond the world 
God is transcendental. So if you say God is immanent in and through the creation, they will say it's blasphemy. You will have a big problem with them. Be very careful if you are travelling in Islamic countries and you make a statement like that. You will get into hot water. Really, I am not joking. That includes Indonesia, Malaysia and all. Okay, Be very careful what you say there. Of course, since most of us are only talking to a group of friends, it will not be an issue. But to a teacher, it can be a big issue. Yeah. So, there God is transcendental. That, because we are brought up with Western education, that colonial thinking has per pervaded our minds. For beyond is always translated as beyond. Beyond the mind, beyond this, beyond... beyond. What about immanence? Iloka trayam avishya vibharti avyaya ishra. Forgotten. How do you interpret that? So for Vedanta, God is beyond and in and through, both. It's both. That is why we can respect all forms of worship, it's not a problem. Okay, you want to worship like that, fine. God is immanent through that also, no? Oh, you want to worship it like that, fine. Don't come here and destroy my things, that's all. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. Because this immanence is of very, very great importance. It's only then, it's only then, God can be presented, Ishwara can be presented as limitless, as omnipresent. They will define God as omnipresent, but then they will put him in Timbuktu. They will define him as formless and put him in a place. How can formless be in a place unless he's an amoeba? You don't mean formless, you mean shapeless. Yeah. He is formless, therefore you can't give him a form. Of course, Mekka is Shivalinga, so no problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a stone. So for us it's okay. <laughs> ah, you want to worship him? Wake up, fine. We worship milestones all over the place, no? Every linga is like a milestone only, no? Are, apna ke push farak na padta. We are fine with it. Yeah. So if you want to worship him in a telephone pole, we are okay with that. Yeah, amit kya farak pada? It's okay. Because. Vedanta recognizes this fact that consciousness is immanent through everything. Only then Ishwara can be called Ishwara. Only then he becomes almighty, omnipotent, omnipresent, etc. Only then you can be. Otherwise, omnipresent will be what? Big brother watching over. Yeah. Some CCTV type business, I mean. How do you say omnipresent otherwise? Important to see it. Yeah. But you also worship Ishwara and Kailasa. Yeah. That's an invocation, Ishtam. I like to see it like that. You are also welcome to see it as you want. Yeah. If you can't understand this, you see it as you want in worship and Gain some grace so that you will understand this. So worship in Kailasa, worship him in Vaikuntha, but we don't limit him there. That's the idea. We don't limit. He's only there, not anywhere else. <laughs> He's everywhere and there also. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, Yasmat Akshara Dapitoham Akshara Dapitoham Akshara Dapichotamaha. 
Atosmi, therefore I am called where? Loke Vedecha. Katita, Pratitaha, Purushotama Iti. I am called as Purushotama. Uttama Purushaha, Purushotama. The highest entity that is there is called Purushotama. You know, you all say, na, Krishna Purushotam, Krishna Purushotam, Krishna. So, Bulta Bhakti Mena. But when you say Krishna Purushottamaha, you mean the pure consciousness. Because the pure consciousness that is manifested as Krishna anyway. The pure consciousness that is manifested as you and me. Kshara, Akshara, remember? <laughs> the whole world, Kshara and Akshara. And what is the one that is connecting the whole thing of Purushottamaha? Purushottamaha, the pure consciousness, is the, is the one that pervades the whole thing up. Therefore, therefore, we are not parts of the consciousness, because consciousness is limitlessness. Like space can't be divided, consciousness also cannot be divided. Therefore, you are Purna Purushaha. Each one is Purna Purushaha. That's why the Upadesha Tattva Masi is possible. You are nothing but that pure consciousness. Limitlessness itself, then what type of problems are you talking about? Hey, sab, sab khel hai. Oh, I am in problem, I am in this, I am this. Kya problem hai? Bas samsar ka khel hai, maja dekho aur kya. <laughs> okay, it goes on. Somebody with that type of thinking will achievement be there? Of course, it will be there. If you need to achieve, you need to achieve. That's Vyavahara, not a problem. Without the heartburn and the tension and the ulcers, okay? <laughs> yeah. Without all that, yeah. What has to be done has to be done. That's Vyavahara. The reality is for recognition, for understanding, for owning up. The mithya is meant for function. Mithya is dependent on the satyam, satyam is independent of the mithya. If you recognize this, whole world, you can do whatever you want. Achieve, don't achieve, whatever. You have fulfilled your life, abhi kya hai? Yeah, that's it. Huh? You do what is necessary. That is why, you know, if you look at the Sanskrit language, first person, second person, third person, this is common in all languages. It is a universal. Any language you make, any corner of the world, you will need these three. Okay? I, you, he, she, whatever. Okay? You need this. But in Sanskrit, you know, in English we say first person. If you are conjugating in English, French, Latin, etc., you start with first person, I. In Sanskrit, you don't. You start with third person. And the third person is called Prathama Purushaha. The first person who was there. Are first person should be I, na? No, 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 no. Prathama Purushaha. In Sanskrit literature, unless specified, who is Pratama Purushaha? He, who is this? He, are yaar, apna neighbor, Shiva Subramanyam. Ha ha ha, okay, okay. Not specified, Pratama Purushaha, he, not specified, who is it then? Ishwaraha. If it is not specified, it stands for Ishwara. Pratama Purushaha. If it is specified, because Prathama, he is the first one. Na? If, Ish, if consciousness does not manifest in Ishura, how will you and I come about? As functioning entities, how will we come about? Prathama Purusha. Madhima Purusha, you remain the same. There is no change. Second person. Then who is the first person? Person, first person is I. Who is that I? 
उत्तम पुरुष प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस दैट्स वे फर्स्ट पर्सन इन सैंस्क्रिट इज उत्तम पुरुष प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस इट सेल्फ सो इवन सैंस्क्रिट ग्रामर इज रिवॉल्विंग राउंड दिस विशन ओके रिवॉल्विंग राउंड दिस विशन इन फैक्ट एवरीथिंग रिवॉल्व इन दिस विशन दैट्स वाई वी कुड इन्वेंट बोथ द सिंबल फॉर इन्फिनिटी एज वेल एज जीरो which the arabs took to greeks and the greeks made it and said we have discovered infinity and zero sa bakwas ki baat hai then they come and lecture to us about intellectual property rights chodo yaar ye sab samsar ka khel hai unless you have unless you have an understanding of consciousness how will you even understand infinity Infinity will be a very large number. That's all. A number that you cannot conceive of. That we will call as practical infinity. Yeah. How many grains of sand on the seashore? Infinite. This is a practical. Is it called practical infinity? Is not really infinite. Yeah. What about the non-sand entities that are there on the beach? <laughs> there's a different you know so your infinity is a limited infinity isn't it yeah even space is not infinite it does depend on your mind it depend on you the consciousness we have seen that before elaborately second chapter etc फॉर दिस कॉन्शियसनेस उत्तम पुरुषस्तन्य परमात्मा तिदुआता अतोस्म लोके वेद प्रति पुरुषोत्तम लोके मीनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड एवरी वन फेज कृष्ण पुरुषोत्तम कृष्ण पुरुषोत्तम पुरुषोत्तम वेद इट इज मेड इट वेरी क्लियर एज कॉन्शियसनेस इज नो डाउट अबउट दैट लोके वेद प्रति पुरुषोत्तम then all right what is the result of all that result of all that dekho yo ma meva asam moodah janati purushottamam sa sarva ved bhajati mam sarva bhave na bharat all right here is the phalam of this knowledge yo mam me krishna ha purushottama और माम कैन बी टेकन एज मी आई असम मूड हसन विदाउट एनी डेल्यूशन ऑल इग्नोरेंस गॉन बिकॉज ऑफ द टीचिंग थोड़ा टाइम लगता है देफोर असम मूड जानाति पुरुषोत्तम जानाति अंडरस्टैंड मी एज द पुरुषोत्तम एज प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस अंडरस्टैंड दैट पुरुषोत्तम मीन प्योर कॉन्शियस स सर्व भजति माम स सर्विद भवती ही इज द नोवर ऑफ एवरीथिंग ही सेज हाउ डू यू सी ए नोवर ऑफ एनीथिंग यू मीन टू द एवरी वाइस मैन विल नो लैटिन ग्रीक फ्रेंच मैथमेटिक्स हिस्ट्री जोग्रफी मराठी टमल हाउ कैन यू फॉरगेट टमल ओ बिग डिबेट नाउ डेज विल यू नो ऑल दैट ना he will know everything in what there are only two things in the world one is all the mithya things one is satyam he knows that he knows satyam that which is the basis for everything he knows what is important to know you or your reflection i was funny thing na If you take both as equally real, गड़बड़ हो जाएगा You have went for a shower in the morning, etc. Then you are combing your hair, and then you are telling your wife, "Please make breakfast for two people." Two? You called a friend early morning for breakfast? No, no. I and my reflection. 
Even the most dumbest husband doesn't say that. <laughs> What is Satyam he knows? And he knows everything is Mithya. Therefore, Sarvaved. And Maam Bhajati, now he is putting in the language of worship. He worships me. How does he worship me? Sarva Bhavena Bharataha. Yara, I know this character. Ye kabhi Bhagwan ke upar ek full pheka bhi nahi, chadana bhul jau. Offering a flower, forget it. He has not even thrown a flower at the Lord. Sarva Bhavena, in all forms. Any of you remember the Shiva Manasa Puja? The last verse? Sancha, you know, Atma Tvam Girijamati. You are the Atma, the consciousness. Girija. Devi is my mind. Sahachara, prana, all the Shiva Ganas are the pranas. Sanchara, padayo, pradakshna vidhi. You are roaming around. That's pradakshna. Nidra, samadhi stitihi. Nidra is called a samadhi. If you know the truth, it's non different. Every act of yours is a worship. As a karma yogi, because of Ishar Arpana Buddhi, your acts become a worship. That with knowledge, it fulfills itself into what? Your living itself is a worship of the Lord. Sarva Bhavena. Hey, don't look at me. Krishna is saying it, okay? <laughs> hey, Krishna is saying Sarva Bhavena Bharata. Maam Eva Bhajati. He worships me only. बट ये साधु थोड़ा अलग है कोई भजन नहीं गाता है कुछ नहीं गाता है खाली सिखाता है पढ़ाता है सो समन हु सिंग सिंगिंग ही इज ऑफरिंग वर्शिप टू द फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड वॉट आर यू डूइंग ऑफरिंग वर्शिप टू द स्वरूप यू आर रिवीलिंग द स्वरूप ऑफ द लॉर्ड और क्या है टू द ट्रू नेचर ऑफ द लॉर्ड यू आर ऑफरिंग द वर्शिप सर्वविध भजति माम सर्व भावे न भारत इन ऑल फॉर्म्स इन ऑल भावास इज बीइंग वर्शिप्ड ओनली और क्या चाहिए व्हाट इज देयर सर्व भावे इति गुख्यतमम शास्त्रम इदम मुक्तम मया नगह एतद् बुद्ध्वा बुद्धिमान स्यात् कृतकृत्यस्य भारत Iti guhyatamam shastram. This very secret shastra, secret knowledge. By secret, we have seen in Raja Vidya Raja Guhyam. A secret is a secret unless it's revealed to you. Especially this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Even revealing it, people find it difficult to understand. <laughs> Other secrets sometimes you can stumble upon. The wife finds the husband's phone lying around. Ah, it's unlocked. Okay. Oh my God! What's happening here? You stumble upon a secret. All problems start after that. <laughs> so other secrets you can stumble. But here the guy who's stumbling around itself is a secret. There is a secret about the guy who is stumbling around. The seeker is the sort. So when you say I am the seeker, you are actually denying the fact that you are the sort. <laughs> you are what you are seeking. You are what you are seeking. Yeah. So that is the whole thing. Say iti gukhyatamam shastram. Therefore, the greatest secret. You know, not understanding this. Westerners started calling Upanishad the secret doctrine, etc. <laughs> taught only to a student, not taught to anybody. But Swamiji, in olden times, was that not true? Nope. Sadhus would go from village to village talking Vedanta. They were Parivarajakas. 
and during chaturmasya there was intense learning because chaturmasya starts little bit after the monsoon has started monsoon starts in most places in india by end of june it's there chaturmasya starts with guru purnima why now the plantation transplantation everything is over people are relaxing they have to grow people have time the farmers have time it's an agrarian society remember and chaturmasya sadhus are not supposed to roam around you stay in one place so morning and evening every day classes go on so what secret knowledge are you talking about no public knowledge secret to those who don't understand <laughs> and who want to make it all mystical hey if you can communicate what you are saying what is mystic what is mystic about you if you are mystical sit down in one place don't talk yeah because you are mystical you can't communicate if you can't communicate what are you talking about what are you making people do all sorts of stuff or that an attempt to communicate what you have what you have understood no so then there is nothing mystic vedanta is not a mystic tradition vedanta is a teaching tradition you have to be a sampradaya with and teach go find a sampradaya with guru so today i found something very interesting on facebook sometimes people who are exposed to tradition also become foolish shankara has made a statement somewhere asampradayad with guru who murkhavad upakshaniya someone who is not a sampradaya with you should not bother about him leave him alone like how you leave a fool alone leave this guy also meaning don't go and waste your time learning from someone who is not a sampradaya with he won't know how to deliver shankar has made the statement so this guy in his facebook post elaborate post normally i don't have the time to read such elaborate post but when i saw about this statement and i know this guy i wanted to read it to see what he is talking about he said what is the sampradaya look at it first there were only the upanishads then the upanishads were analyzed by vyasa in brahma sutras then shankara commented it in the shankara bhashya on the brahma sutras then there was other traditions of writers all traditional writers bhamati vachaspati etc nyaya nirnaya etc all lines so a sampradaya with is one who knows all this i said le beta it sounds good it sounds good that means unless you study all this you will not know the truth what about the rishis who study only the upanishad the rishi students who studied the only the upanishad he knew that they knew the truth no? what about all the wise people before vyasa they didn't know the truth no? what about all the wise people before shankara bhashya they didn't know the truth no? what about all the wise people who before these commentaries were written they didn't know the truth no? ye kya bakwas karta hai albakwas hai that's not what sampradaya with means sampradaya with means someone who can use the words and point out the reality to you can make the words do their magic and show you the reality that is a sampradaya with whether upanishadic times or modern times that is a sampradaya with whether he can use the magic of the words to make you see the truth in an unfolding class okay in an unfolding class one you can do that that is considered a sampradaya with who uses the words as a pramana he does not necessarily use the word as a scholastic methodology if sampradaya with may be scholastic may may not be scholastic someone like me i studied all the thing that he talked about and after studying all that i found you don't need to know all that to know the truth because upanishad has given me many of the argument that these people are written before i read it i knew this why sab hai upanishad mein it's all there 
And Sampradaya with is like my guru. Could make magic with the words. Uh-huh. It's like Tarananda yeah. Giri. What is the Murk? What is the Murk? Aangh hai kya bopla hai kya padh raha hai? You would say that. <laughs> if you made one small mistake, you'd say, Aangh hai kya bopla hai? <laughs> but Sampradaya with Guru. Or like Tirtha ji. You would say, Shastra se moksh hota hai? Ha, Swamji, Shastra se moksh hota hai na? Nahi, Shastra se moksh nahi hota hai. And he laughed. And in that laughter, that communication was there. Moksha is not a happening. The Shastra doesn't cause it. The Shastra is only revealing what you are. You are already free. You are already a Muktaha. Because you are a Muktaha, the Shastra is saying you are free. Not the other way around. That type of teaching is a Sampradaya. Get this clear, okay? I'm deciding, I'm deciding how many of it I should ele- uh, dismiss in my Monday talk. All of you have seen the posters of the Monday talk. Okay, If you have the time, please attend that. Advaita and Modernity. The title itself I'm going to demolish. I said, so, Ulta Sri, the title Deta Meru. Where I suggested better titles. Like this I, title I suggested was. Vedanta and Science, Areas of Convergence and Divergence. They liked it so much that they took it for their Sunday seminar. <laughs> of course, I am not part of the seminar. Okay? <laughs> because they know me. The organizers know me. They know I will be dismissing science. Most of science I will be dismissing. <laughs> when it comes to pure Vedanta. When it comes to Mithya world, I will accept that. <laughs> So sometimes these type of non-sampradaya with teachers are afraid of sampradaya with teachers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you go to sampradaya with teacher, etc., then it is not gukhya tamam, it is so clear. It is no secret. It is open. It is openly revealed. It is a secret to whom who doesn't understand. To one who understands this crystal clear. Hasta Amalaka Miva. Remember we have seen that Hasta Amalaka versus like the Amala fruit, Avla fruit kept on your hand. How can you can you miss it? If they're right on your hand, how can you miss it? Okay, okay. Amla fruit should keep a mango in your hand. <laughs> so I should name some student Haste Mango Eva. Instead of Hasta Malaka, I should call him Hasta, hasta Amra Pani. He, hasta Amra Nananda. Hasta Amra Nananda. Koi champion ko aisa naam denga to. Imagine the struggle you have to put up, a, to fill up a form or to fill up a passport. <laughs> okay, all right. If iti gukhya tamam shastram, ida muktam maya nagha, ida muktam that has been said to me, Maya by me, he anagha, one who is free from all conflicts, ideas of sin, this, that, etc. Okay. Okay. Etad buddhva, having known this, if you know this, buddhiman syad. Why is he saying buddhiman syad? Because remember how Arjuna approached Krishna in the second chapter? Karpanya dosha upaharda sobhavaha pricha amitvam dharma sammuda cheta. I have been a kripanaha, a miserly in my thinking. <clears throat> I use my thinking only to stockpile arms for the battle. I did not think about knowing the truth. Therefore, I have been miserly in my thinking. In fact, Manu, the much maligned Manu, defines a miser like this, a kripanaha, a miser. What? One who leaves this world without knowing the truth. <laughs> Why? It is like that joke, you know, the costliest brain in the world. Why? Fresh mint condition, not being used at all. 
नॉट बीन यूज एट ऑल विंट कंडीशन में रखा है सो सिमिलरली यूर बट इफ यू नो दिस बुद्धिमान से याद यूर नो मोर ए कृपना इन यूर थिंकिंग बुद्धिमान से याद दैट इज वाई इन इंडिया वेन यू कॉल्ड अ वाइस पर्सन इट वॉज ऑलवेज समन यू न्यू द ट्रूथ ए वेदांत इन वॉज कॉल्ड अ वाइस पर्सन समन यू न्यू द ट्रूथ वॉज कंसिडर्ड वाइस not just because somebody lived for a long time live for a long time they assumed some worldly wisdom is there been there done that no so some worldly wisdom is there but a wise person was always considered to be someone who knew the truth okay buddhiman syat krutakrityasya bharata he has achieved all there is to be done in life krutakritya why remember how i have been talking to you on hundreds of desires a dozen priorities remember behind those desires will be a few priorities which is really important it is not the money that we want it is financial independence which is a priority not money not gold not bitcoin <laughs> you want all of them because you want financial independence isn't it whether it is bitcoin or gold or land or apartment or the thing what are you really looking for Pri- what is the priority behind it financial independence so similarly hundreds of desires half a dozen priorities why is all this important because i feel finite therefore that vedanta priority is only one really speaking at the bottom of all of it is only one priority left that's why it's called the parama purushartha you want to be a fulfilled person you think money will give it to you relationship will give it to you people will give it to you control will give it to you power will give it to you and you find none of this can give it to you you know our ancient kings and all recognize this that's why they said power is not a privilege it's a responsibility to do good for the people yeah very few leaders you have like that in the society power is a responsibility to do, do good of course you want power why because power gives you the ability to get things done now you can do it money is what money does otherwise what is the use of money don't worry i'm going to come to all of you okay we need crores why ashram has to come up now why so parampara will move forward or kya if that was not there what do you need then i can say like kabir साई इतना दीजिए जिससे सुख सफाए हम तो भूखा ना रहे साधु भी भूखा ना जाए गिव मी नम बट आई विल बी कंफर्टेबली एंड दोज हू कम टू मी फॉर सम हेल्प एक्सेट्रा आई कैन डू दैट ऑल्सो फॉर दम बस हो गया दैट माई स्टूडेंट आर ऑलरेडी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ यू नो ऑल दिस मैनिफेस्ट इज वेरी वेल यू नो near that uh, arane temple there is a kela wala there is a guy selling fruits always go and pick up bananas from him okay every week half a dozen bananas i pick up every day i eat a banana and he asked me one swamiji aap dusra kuch phal nahi khata hai sasta mein hai idhar i'll give it to you cheap saying nahi bhai sis kyun are hamara vidyarthi hai na shishya gan hai na लोग सब फल लेके आता है <laughs> साई इतना दीजिए जिससे सुख सफाए इंक्लूडिंग द किंग ऑफ फ्रूट मैंग कम्स अभी फाइन फॉर योर सेल्फ दैट्स ऑल यू नीड बट मनी इज अबिलिटी टू गेट थिंग्स डन यू कैन डू गुड विद दैट दे फॉर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नॉट अदरवाइज मनी इज वॉट मनी डज therefore what is it that you are really after sense of fulfillment not one success you are looking for a sense of fulfillment that is what all human beings are after in life forget human beings that is the motivation for evolution really i am not joking i am that's a motivation for evolution if survival was a motivation for evolution as darwin said then you know what is the evolution will stop with the cockroach 
Why? The cockroach will survive a nuclear war. <laughs> you and I will not survive it. <laughs> if survival was the motivation of evolution, it would have stopped there. No. Moksha is this, this thing. They moksha each other, fulfillment. That's why we've given up a lot of powers to have an evolved brain through which an evolved mind can manifest and know the truth. He has done all that has to be done in life has been done by her. She has achieved it. Kam ho gaya. Krita Kritya. Krita Kritya Sya Bharata. He has done all that is to be done. But Swamiji, what has he achieved in life? Nothing. Achha career ta ye ta chhod ke gaya sadhu manne ko. Yeah, thik hai. What have you achieved? Nothing. Except the thing that has to be achieved. <laughs> yeah, except the thing that has to be achieved. If that is there, then every other achievement becomes ornamental for you. If that is not there, only the ornament shine. Where are you? Where are you? So Krishna is delivering a great motivational punch here. Okay, yeah. this is what really makes a person, makes a break a person. This is a very, this is a very purpose of human life. What else is human life meant for? If it is about getting more wealth, etc., the squirrel is much smarter than you. How much of things he holds? How many nuts does he hold? No, Samaji, I want to go and sit in Samadhi. The polar bear is better than you. Six months is in Samadhi every day. Every winter is in Samadhi. Okay, you can't last six months. You will say, 13 days I sat in Samadhi. Oh my God, what realization took place. You can compare yourself to that bear. Six months every day. And every year he does it. <laughs> So what are you talking about? Some of you, we have conquered the skies, we are flying all over. <laughs> A mosquito does that. A fly does that. What are you talking about? We have given up all those physical powers, etc. that we had. For what? A mind that can understand the truth. Therefore, if you understand the truth, Krita Kritya, if you don't understand, Mahati Vinashti. Ihached Avedi Tata Satya Masti, the Upanishad says that. If you know the truth here, then there is reality in your life. Otherwise, Mahati Vinashti, your loss is huge. Why? Because a notional loss, you don't really lose, you are still the same consciousness. But a notional loss is as big as a real loss. Let us say, husband and wife goes for a party. Okay. So she is wearing all her jewellery, this, that, etc. Then you come from the party, she takes it off and keeps it in the cupboard. Next day, without telling her, the husband puts it into the locker. So next day evening, she goes into the, opens the cupboard, hey, where is all that? Hey, all of it is gone. Notional. It is not really gone. It is safe in the locker. But the loss is notional. And she is in tears. And the husband walks in. What happened to you? All oh, the jewelry, somebody has taken it away. I put it into the locker. How do you think the lady will react? Oh, thank God. Thank you. So nice of you. <laughs> All married men know differently. Na? Idiot, you did that without telling me. I really thought I had lost it. <laughs> so, you, how do you know that? I see a lot. No? 
I see a lot. Yeh <laughs> reacted hoega. Don't expect anything else. Better tell her. I'm taking it to the locker on the way to work. Okay. <laughs> so a notional loss can be as big as a real loss. And when you gain it, do you think, oh, I am buddhiman, syat, krita kritya, etc. If you are a very pragmatic person, you will think, what an idiot I was. <laughs> like that girl who reacted. Right? <laughs> what an idiot I was to go about chasing all this. It's only me. I am the reality. So after that what? After that go and have a cup of coffee. Or kya? <laughs> what else is there to do in life? Yeah. One of the teachers, Vedanta teachers were asked, after I know the truth, what should I do? I mean, common sense, nah, if you know the truth, you will have the wisdom to know what to do with it. Eh? So you know what he said, the teacher answered, Murkhavat Acharit, live like the other fools in society. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> you know the truth, okay, DK Baba, you get, get things done, nah? you do what has to be done. If you can teach, teach. If you can't teach, shut up and give him quip, quiet. Be a Mauni Baba. <laughs> At least inspire people by saying, with nothing you can be happy. Yeah. So, whatever you want to do, you can do. Get married, settle down. Samji, after knowing the truth, what is there to get married? What is there not to get married anyway? It's all playing a role. You prefer this lifestyle to that lifestyle. Of course, sometimes it becomes a bhail mujhe mar in my mind, okay. That's why I became a sadhu. <laughs> but someone else may want to do. Yeah. There are only a handful of us who can teach the advanced texts like Vedanta Paribhasha, this, that, etc. among our batchmates, you know, and a handful. One of them is a married man. <laughs> yeah. So it's not that because you are a married man, you are any less, okay. Or a married woman, you are anything less. No. no. Fine. Both of them came. Both of them did the course together. And after that, under Swamiji's advice, both of them got married to each other. Yeah. And they are putting up a small ashram in South. Yeah. So, various ways of living. You live as you need to. As Yatha Jnanam, Yatha Icha. Whatever is this, you do. Know. Wherever your prarabdha takes you, go. Yeah. All right. Yabuddhi manjar. Krita kritya bharata. Then with that he says, Iti Srimad Bhagavad Gita su Upanishasu. It does in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, which is also considered like an Upanishad only. Brahma vidyayam yoga shastra, which has got both Brahma vidya, the knowledge of the truth. Yoga shastra, whatever is necessary to prepare your mind. Krishna Arjuna, Samvade, in the form of a dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna. Purushottama Yoga Namaha. The chapter dealing with Purushottama Yoga, with pure consciousness. Remember, it started with the samsara, vriksha, etc. Fifteen chapter, everyone remember the tree, the samsara tree. But the name is Purushottama Yoga. Uttama Purushasthanya Paramatma Udahrataha, yo lokatraya mavishya, vibharti, avyayaha, ishwaraha. That is what it is. That is the main verse there. Okay, Purushottam Yoga Nama, Panchadasho Dhyayaha. The 15th chapter comes to an end. And every time we have been using the word samvada, samvada, samvada. You know, there are various ways of discussion. Okay. One is called jalpa. It is just saying whatever you want to say. Bakwas. That's called Jalpa. Other is called Vidandaha. Whatever you say, I'll oppose it. <laughs> it becomes an ego game. You know? Whatever you say, I'll oppose it. Vidandaha. Another is Vadaha. Vadaha is between two equals. Two scholars sitting and discussing something. Two students sitting and discussing something also will become Vadaha. Because there is more light, less heat. 
<laughs> in vidanda there will be more heat less light <laughs> okay samvada is between teacher and student where teaching is called samvada where knowledge flows from someone who knows to people who want to know that's called samvada if on the form of a samvada between krishna and arjuna knowledge flowed from krishna to arjuna that's called purushottama yoga in this section with that this chapter comes to an end 15th chapter we are towards the fag end of the gita okay the next two three chapters are except for a few verses everything is very easy he'll talk about devasura sampatti for example the next chapter is about okay devasura sampatti divine qualities asuric qualities both are all are human qualities only but some sort of classification they follow some sort of a paradigm they created why is it all being done now towards the end of the gita because the truth has been revealed everything should be clear by now not clear what fine tuning is necessary in the mind some fine tuning is necessary so look at all these devasura sampatti then satvik rajasik tamasik divisions of everything in the world okay everything about shraddha about worship about karma about uh, food everything sattva rajas tamas sattva rajas tamas so idea is to become you take your make your mind a little bit more sattvic and then moksha sanyasa yoga what is moksha what is sanyasa finish ho gaya ka simple but important so the next two chapters are very simple actually 16 17 chapters are very simple but very important for us to self regulate and check up what we need what we need to fine tune where we need to tune out certain things where we need to tune in certain things is not meant to make anyone feel guilty or judgmental that's never the purpose purpose is not there purpose is fine tune what is inside so that you can know the truth even better and make it a fact of your life okay but that we will see next class we'll start with the 16th chapter if there are no questions on the 15th okay so good place to stop okay om tat sat have a nice time the night is still young in fact the night is yet to start so <laughs> yeah it is still young <laughs> so have a great time enjoy yourselves yeah <laughs> saturday evening yeah and those who are free on monday evening join for the talk you'll get some different things yeah <laughs> Thank you, Swami Ji. Take care, all of you. Enjoy yourselves. Swami Ji, Ram. Ram Ji, enjoy yourself. Have fun. Thank you, Swami Ji. Thank you. Krita Krita Obhava. Okay.